EverQuest is what's known as an MMORPG, which stands for Massive Multiplayer Online RPG. There's probably like 20 different servers for EverQuest 2, and each of them has a couple thousand people playing, and it's around the world. And you play in real time with people, and it's kind of like a chat, like AIM, or pretty much like AIM, and then you play as well. So you talk to people while you play with them, and you go kill things together. I've been playing EverQuest for about a month now. On Friday, I might get out of school at 2 and play until 5 in the morning. Or today, I played from 2 till 5 in the afternoon, so that's 3 hours, so it changes. I can, I can tell you about like when I played EverQuest and I would die, how stressed out you get, like I have to get my body back, I'm so pissed off I lost experience, you know, also you get really mad about it because it's all this work that's on the verge of like being lost. Um, I don't think I would have killed myself over it, but that was basically what happened. He died, his body decayed, and he didn't get back, and he was high level, and it, I guess EverQuest was his life, so he gets so stressed out that he killed himself. I think his parents tried to sue Sony for it. I think one of the more addicting things about EverQuest is that you have friends on there that you compete with. Travis used to play EverQuest 1 with me, and we stopped. Um, so I was a recovered EverQuest 1 addict, and I got my life back, and uh, you know, got back in school, and I was doing alright, I was doing pretty well. You know, I'm here at Chapel Hill now, recovered. Uh, and then he got back into it, he got an EverQuest 2, and it just, you know, living with it in the house made it really hard to deal with not having, um, you know, my EverQuest fix. Mm -hmm.